Hello, Sophia Fulla. I am Bigendra Vaiva Tamang. My birthplace is Nuakot Deurali Dolip. Right now, I am here at Tamang Voice Studio. In this Lanyi Dinyi episode, I am going to presenting history of Tamang people. The Tamang are very ancient tribe of Nepal and are the original people of Yambu. Yambu means uh, we know as a Karfundo Valley, known as a Yambu. Nepalese history states that the enlightened Manjushri made the ancient adobe of Tamang in Yambu. The ancient Tamang song, Yanak Gyamse Febkazim, or uh, appear from China, say that the oldest tribe of Yambu is Tamang. There are dense Tamang settlement around the Yambu even today. According to the version of dynasty of Nepal and uh, Dr. Setenko. Tamang are the oldest tribe of Nepal. Dr. Antony Yakob Setenko visited Nepal on an uh, archaeological study program under the agreement between Nepal and USSR. He discovered that the tools, weapons and uh, artifacts that date back to the Stone Age about 30,000 BC at uh, Budi Nilkanta where the some of the those found in Gobi of Mongolia, Asia and America. Presently such uh, Mongolian artifact dating back to the Stone Age are found in Yambu, Yambu Karfandu Buddha Nilkanta, which proof that the Mongolian Tamangs come by the way Tibet and the Himalaya to Nepal, it is Evidence that the Mongols were settled in Yambu, Karfandu Valley from the north more than 30,000 years ago. According to the Janaklal Sarma, those Mongols uh, that come from north are today's Tamangs. Earlier Tamangs were known by various terminologies. Among this, Murmi is the popular term. Hamilton in 1802, Hudson in 1847, and uh, MacDonald in 1989 have used the term Murmi for Tamang people. Some scholars are of the opinion that uh, during the regime of King Trivon, the then Prime Minister Vim Samsir had formally used the term Tamang for the very first time under the request of Sardar Bahadur Jangabir, who was also from the Tamang nationality. In 13th century, King Bhum Dagon, who had ruled the prison Mustang region of Nepal, has scripted the word Tamang in this genealogy. This is the oldest written document ever, even, ever found about the usage of the word Tamang that exclusively refers to the Tamang nationality of Nepal. There is still prevails difference about the origin of the word Tamang. A common belief is that the word Tamang has been derived from the Tibetan word Tamag, which means Ta referring to horse and uh, Mag referring to rider. So Tamang are horse rider or soldier riding on the horse. It is believed that after the Nepal-Tibet war, some of the horse riding soldier of King Srangchang Gampo permanently settled in the Himalaya hills of Nepal, who were later recognized as the Tamang nationalities. But many scholars have opposed the above perspective that the Tamang are the descendant and horse riding soldiers of King Srangchang Gampo. A foreign scholar Alexander MacDonald is one, one among them. According to him, Tamangs are the indigenous inhabitants of Nepal who were here before the state formation. He disagreed that Tamang are the horse riding soldiers of King Srangchang Gambo who were left behind after the Nepal Tibet War. He put forward his reasoning that there should be some mention of King Gompo is the genealogy of Tamang nationality if it was so. But nothing has been found yet. In our language, the Tibetans call Tamang people Rongpo, which means foreigner. Obviously, 
It's also justified that the Tamang are the indigenous inhabitant of Nepal, not the horse riding soldier of King Srangchan Gampo. Uh, Mr. Ajit Man Tamang redefined the Tibetan perspective of the world Tamang. He is, uh, he is in the, of the view that the Tibetan Ta means it's an entrance or gateway and uh, Mug means a large public or a common people. So Tamang in Tibetan means presence of large number of people at the entrance of boundary which signifies the settlement of Tamang people in the border of Tibet in Nepal. It is also supported by the Tibetan uses of the word Rongpo to Tamang, which means the foreigner inhabited beyond the border of Tibet. Now it is obvious that the Tamangs are the indigenous inhabitants of Nepal, not the descendment of the horse riding soldier of uh, King Srangchang Gampo as the Tamang themselves do not possess the characteristics of a horse rider nor their sign of their history directly associated with the horses. Usage of the word Tamang it is uh, still in the root of the research from the which word Tamang has been used to refer to the Tamang nationality of Nepal. Uh, this all all the matters all the references I just collected from the internet from the different pages and uh, especially I get uh, from the one of the our sister writing about the Tamang it's a uh, Lakshmi Tamang in this all circumstances uh, there is a one question rising why there is no history of Tamang community in Nepal uh, Napoleon Bonaparte once he said, history is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. Or history is always written by the winners when to culture's class the loser is obligated and the winner writes the history books, books which glorify their own cause and disparage the conquered for it. As uh, Napoleon once said, the, what is the history but a uh, fable agreed upon? It's a uh, down brown written somewhere. I also wonder why there is uh, no Tamang history in Nepal. Uh, Nepalese historian and uh, I come to realize from the civil code Muluki N written in 1854 by Prime Minister Jangabadur Rana, Tamang has been classified under the category of enslavable alcohol drinkers. It's a Masinia Matwal in Nepali. Uh, it is said that the codified social codes in practice for several centuries in Nepal that was rooted to Barnasram or a traditional Hindu legal procedure and uh, Prayaschit is the avoidance and the removal of the sin and the achara, the customary law of different caste and the community. According to the renowned historian of Nepal, Mr. Janaklal Sarma, it's written in Himal, year 5, number 1, say that the Tamangs are ancient people who are living in the surrounding of Kathmandu Valley and its neighboring district. Earlier, Tamang were known by various terminologies. Among these, Murmi is the popular term, Hamilton, Hudson, and uh, most of the foreigner writers they mention. From the Nepal's historical evidence, uh, it has proven that Tamang community has been attempted to genocide by Nepal's past ruler because they were very much aggressive towards Gorkha ruler. As mentioned my, by Neupane, Govinda Neupane, in, uh, in his article titled Nepal Ko Jatiye Prasna, Ethnic Question of Nepal, published in uh, 2000, that the Tamang revolted twice against King Rana, Ranavadur Saha and King Girvan Bikram Saha in 1873, but they couldn't succeed. However, Magar, Gurung, Rai and Limbu had an uh, agreement and supported to Gorkha king. Those they, they became their troops and later sold the East India Company as a Gorkha soldier. 
Where, whereas Tamang were forbidden to join the, deprive them socio-economically, those keep them as a slave of royal families and palace in the Kathmandu Valley, exploiting their male's physical strength and women as a sex slave of the royal families. It is just a common sense of understand if you have a brain to think in our head, hard to feel and hand to do. As I said, uh, as I said, the Tamang community was, was attempted to genocide. There, here the genocide convention adopted by the United Nations General Assembly on uh, 9, Dece 9 December 1948 defined genocide and considered crime of genocide in international law in the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of Genocide. In the Article 2nd, Article 2nd in the present convention, genocide means any of the following act committed with the intent to destroy, to hold or in a part a national, ethnical, racial or religious group such as a killing, a, killing a member of the group, causing serious badly or mental harm to member of the group, deliberately inflicting on the group condition or life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. Imposing measure intended to prevent birth with a group, forcibly transferring children to the group to another group. In Article 3rd, the following act shall be punishable. It's written in a General and, uh, Assembly Convention. Article 3rd, uh, genocide, cons uh, conspiracy to commit genocide, direct to public instrument to commit genocide, attempt to commit genocide, and complicity to genocide. Therefore, to expect writing to history about the Tamang by the Nepalese rulers is almost impossible because those community which has been attempted to genocide by the ruler, how they can think the writing about them. Anyway, I love, I love uh, reading, reading history to understand the root cause and the reason of why some people and communities are so much deprived, marginalized, dis discriminated, dominated and disadvantaged and others are very much advantaged and feel so much proud of being a, belong to such group of advantage. Besides, I love history, history. Because uh, um, if you don't know history, then you don't know anything. You are a leaf that doesn't know it is a part of the tree. Okay, today I'm gonna end my presenting here. Friend of me, Mr. Raj Dimdu, one of the director of the Tamang Voice, and uh, he's doing the, all the technical things here. We all together want to say goodbye and lasso for today. Lasso.